Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about plastic money. To be very precise and specific, we will be discussing the concept of ATM card, debit card and credit cards. So, we will be having two different videos. In the very first video, we will be covering up the topics, the concept of plastic money and credit card and various other features and important things related to the plastic money as a concept and credit card and then we will be discussing the various aspects like CVV card verification value expiry date and all the important features which are given on the debit and credit cards and in the second video we will be understanding and discussing the concept of debit card and we will be having the comparative overview the differences the various important uh, distinguishing features of debit card and credit card so let us come to the major concept that all these ATM card, debit card, prepaid cards, credit cards are included in the category and that category is known as the concept is known as the plastic money. So what do we mean by plastic money? So it is a term used to represent the hard plastic card used in day to day life in place of actual bank notes. We are using the plastic money and we are surrounded by the plastic money and generally, generally it is the substitute of the bank notes or the currency or the legal tender currency that we are referring the term. So the primary type of plastic money that are very frequently used nowadays is your debit cards and credit cards. Everybody knows have a basic idea about ATM card, debit cards, credit card and everybody might have heard these terms frequently. So they are used for the purposes like online banking when we are going to ATMs for cash withdrawals, paying bills online, online shopping etc. Instead of handing over those currency notes when you are making payment with the help of these plastic cards. So that's why it is also known as plastic money. So this is the basic concept about plastic money what we mean by it. We will be coming to the first thing that is the credit card. So what we mean by credit card is a basic introduction about this. Credit card is a small plastic card that can be used as a method of payment that money being taken from you at a later time. Now this definition is important and this definition is given by the Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary and Thesaurus. Right. Why I have selected this particular definition is it highlights the concept of that you can purchase, you can use the card at any point of time but the payment will be made at some other point of time or in simple language we can say at later point of time. This is also known as buy now pay now as far as debit cards are concerned and buy now pay later concept in case of credit card. So we will be understanding this when we will be studying the differences between the debit and the credit cards. The information on the card can be read by ATMs that is automated teller machine from where the money is giving or dispensing the cash right. So one important thing credit card can also be used for getting the cash withdrawals or from the very next day the interest will be charged by the bank. So no grace period or no flexibility will be given no credit period will be given in that particular case when you are using credit card for withdrawing of the cash. Another is post terminals that is point of sales terminals. So you, you can go for online shopping with the help of credit card. You can also swipe your credit cards at different point of sales terminals which are established in the various shops like textile stores, supermarkets, jewelry shops, showrooms, bookshops, restaurants etc. Another is credit cards are accepted globally through their affiliation with Visa and MasterCard. Credit cards are issued with limits of usage called card limit. Now this is an important point. Card limit means it's a kind of facility. It is a kind of credit facility which is given by the bank to its customer. That limit is known as the card limit which means that beyond which the customer cannot go for online shopping, cannot use the funds which are given as a credit to, to the customer by the issuer right? which fix the upper limit up to which the cards can be used. Maximum amount if the card is if the card limit has 1 lakh rupees limit or card limit is of 1 lakh rupees. So maximum the customer can use the funds up to rupees 1 lakh. It cannot go beyond that particular limit and that upper threshold limit is known as card limit. So credit cards have a regular billing cycle and billing date and due date of payment which is decided from the billing date. 
Now this is important concept. Purchases are made at one point of time and payment is made at another point of time. So there is a gap. So that's why this cycle is known as billing cycle. This is known as gap. This gap is known as billing cycle and billing date and due date of payment because payment will be made at some other point of time other than the billing date, right? So these are the concept that is very relevant to the credit card. So then the concept of cashback offer was also introduced in credit cards to promote more usage by incentivizing the usage because cashback offers, these type of thing, cashback offers, instant discounts are also available when you're going to uh, have shopping from by using your credit cards on the online websites like Flipkart, Mintra, Amazon.com and many others. This incentivization is offered from 2 to 10 percent or depends from bank to bank or the issuer. The payment for the usage of the card after the credit period on the due date can be paid in different ways. It can be paid in cash depending upon the nature of transaction. It can be paid by making online payment from another debit card or another bank account. Charges for late payment beyond the due date is collected as late fees and varies from rupees 200 to 500 across bank so this is just a tentative date that is given in the form of literature but it varies from bank to bank so it can be more than 500 also it depends upon how late you are now the important part to understand this is the specimen of the credit card so there are one two three four five six six things which are present so this is the front side of the credit card how your credit card looks like most important thing that we need to understand so point number one, that is your bank. So you're having a credit card of ICIC bank, HDFC bank. So logo will be there and the bank description will be there that will define that this credit card belongs to this particular bank. And it is exactly same, exactly or more or less will be same. The credit and debit card, they have the same specimen. Mere things will get changed depending upon the bank to bank, right? The point number second is card number. So it's majorly, it is a 16 bank code. But some banks may also have in different countries for 14 and may range up to 19 codes also. So 16 digit code that will be your credit card or debit card number. Third is your card holder's name. So if you're going for getting instant debit card, so your card holder's name will not be printed there. If you're going for a credit card, so credit card will be having your name that is shown and that is mentioned in your account with which it is linked or whenever you have applied for a credit card right fourth is the smart chip a smart chip is the thing which makes it possible that it is universally acceptable but nowadays the card with the smart chip are uh, being generated and are being in fashion now fifth is important that is the expiration date expiration date in the date of issue is given in the front so it will be look like expire expiry date that will be 721 or the expiry date date is given in month and year so you will be having a month and you will be having an year up to which this credit card will be working majorly it is three years in indian context but again it may varies with bank to bank so generally majority of the credit cards will be given for three years when the time will come for the expiry, the bank will reissue your credit card after that particular expiry, right? Sixth one is your payment network, which means the logo. Generally, it comes with MasterCard and Visa. These two are the verifying institutions or agencies that depends, that describes that the security issues are being verified by these payment network or payment will be made by these particular network. So this is the front side having the bank logo or bank information or the branding of the bank. Then we have the credit card number. Then we have the credit card holders name, the smart chip and the expiration date, which is very important because every time when you're going for any kind of transaction, so expiry date will be asked. So these are few of the salient features and uh, important data that need to be entered when making any kind of online payment. Last one is your payment network, which means the MasterCard or Visa verified logos, which describes the payment with which the payment will be made to the other points like bank or post terminals. This is how it looks like from the backend side.
this is magnetic strip which contains the essential information of the customer the linkage facilities account number amount that can be read so normally the fraud happens with these things so there are devices known as or card readers so these card readers are specially designed so whenever you are entering your credit card at post terminals or atm machines so with the help of these specimen with the help of these magnetic strip all the information all the data which is related to the customer bank details and everything will be read by that particular card reader or that particular equipment from this particular magnetic strip second one is your hologram which are like in silver color which generally changes its color when you're viewing the cards from different angles so these are the things which are for the security perspective so these are generally uncopyable format these have generally uncopyable format so that authentication verification of the card can be done that these are the genuine cards so this is for the security check again the bank contact information so your bank details will be mentioned there in case in case of card lost or any other thing somebody found your card and in case they want to report it to or you want to go for that these kind of things so you can go for bank contact information then the signature area signature area you can put your signatures of paper is there so that the authentication can be made but it is not mandatory sort of right so generally the bankers want that people should or the account holder should put his or her signature there so that it can be used as a signature purpose or it can be used for the verification then again the security code the security code is important this is also known as cvv code which is which need to be mentioned at the time when anybody is making online payment with the help of cards right so the full form of cvv is your card verification value so it's a three digit number that one need to enter when any kind of payment online payment is being made through website at last we have the network logos so it's not mandatory but uh, few banks may have few credit cards may have these kind of network logos which are specifically designed and put on the corner of the credit card which means that these card can also be used point of sales terminals can be used with these websites and transactions are free no cost will be there no service charges will be taken right so these are few of the important things which describes in detail the various specification concept related to the credit card so in the second video we are going to have the detailed discussion on the debit cards and we'll have the comparative analysis between the credit card and the debit card conceptually and the working of both so with these words thank you everyone please do watch the second video also for having the entire concept of plastic money including the debit card and the differences between credit and debit card thank you everyone thank you so much